Kia ora koutou and welcome. Investing in Educational Success, or IES, was a new government initiative announced in 2014. A key part of this new policy were communities of learning. So what actually are communities of learning? Communities of learning are intended as a way of strengthening collaboration between principals, teachers and schools in order to raise student achievement. This is far more than a professional development cluster, with the communities of learning, or COLs, being referred to as the central nervous system of the education system. These will signal major structural changes in which schools and the ministry operate. As of April 2016, there were a significant number of communities established, although only 12 fully up and running with all appointments made, with the rest still in the confirmation and appointment stages. At this stage, our formalised community has 12 schools, representing over 6,000 students and over 300 teachers. Our community of learning is largely based on an already existing school principal cluster in northwest Hamilton. Our diversity is a strength, with a high school, intermediate, full primaries and contributing primaries. We have three schools offering Māori immersion. We also have a mix of rural and urban and a wide range of socio-economic factors represented in our communities. Our community is called He Waka Eki Noa, a waka that we are all in, with no exceptions. Within our community, we have some significant achievement challenges. The Ministry has encouraged the principals to work together to identify, develop and meet our own specific achievement objectives. The community's plans are also included working with local early childhood education services and tertiary providers to improve transitions through the education system and with local communities to engage parents, family and whānau more productively in their children's education. To address the challenges within our community, we have identified three key areas of focus. You will notice that none of these are directly targeted on literacy and numeracy as we strongly contend that these three threads are critical areas to reshape schooling, improve teaching and learning and to approach our challenges in a different manner. Let's start by looking at the first focus area, teacher efficacy. Put simply, teachers working with each other and sharing ideas is critical with large amounts of research indicating that this is crucial for effective schools and networks. There is a wide range of research to support this area. This is a comprehensive list of focus areas within the area of teacher efficacy. This area contains widespread collaboration and also exploring some of the latest developments in education related to innovative learning pedagogy and environments, e-learning, growth mindset and future focus curriculum. Student or learner agency is focus area number two. In very simple terms, this involves a shift of the focus away from teachers and teaching to learners and learning and the ownership and empowerment of learners. Students are no longer solely reliant upon their teachers for knowledge and information. Learners in our schools will face a world where we have no idea what the technologies will be, the jobs that exist and the problems that they'll face. Essentially our roles are to try to pre prepare them for a future that we can't prepare them for. It's a scary prospect, but it also provides a world of opportunity and a world of challenges to learn and grow. More importantly, there is an urgency for educators to stop preparing our students for a predictable life and start preparing them for a very different future. It's an exciting time to be a learner. The changes occurring are easily embraced by today's learners. Our students can learn whatever they want, whenever they want, and this sits at the heart of student agency. These are some of the focus areas within this area. Every, everyone will appreciate the importance of the third focus, Fano engagement, and the critical role that parents play in the partnership with schools. Here is a wider list of the areas that will be explored across the community.
There are new roles for teachers and principals that will help communities of learning work together to identify and address common achievement challenges. The new roles will help share expertise across schools and among teachers and principals and to create new opportunities for teachers and principals to make positive changes to student outcomes. The community of learning leadership role is to coordinate the support provided by the new roles and other resources to deliver the plan. They remain the principals of their own schools, employed solely by the school's board of trustees. Principals in the community of learning leadership role would be freed from some existing duties to work with other schools in their community. To enable this, 10 hours per week or 0.4 additional staffing will be given to the employing school to be used throughout the year in ways that best suit the employing school and the needs of the community of learning. The second role is the across community teacher roles. In our community there could be up to 10 of these positions. It is proposed that teachers in the across community teacher role will work collaboratively across schools with teachers and others to improve teaching practice and student achievement. They will also work with the community of schools leader role to meet the shared achievement objectives of the community of learning. The allowance for these roles is 16000 per year. The appointments will be for a fixed term of up to two years and one further fixed term of up to two years may be agreed. Teachers appointed to the role will be allocated the equivalent of 10 hours non-teaching time per week to work with the other schools in the community. This time could be organised through the year in a range of ways reflecting the needs of both the employing school and the community of learning. There will be a large number of within school teacher roles created. It is proposed that teachers in the within school teacher role will be highly capable classroom teachers. They will work within their own schools with other teachers from across the community of learning. They will prom promote best teaching practice within schools. They will strengthen the use of the teaching as inquiry approach to teaching and learning. The allowance is set at 8000 per year. Teachers appointed to the role would be released for two hours a week or four days per term. These teachers will be under the responsibility of their own school principal and not the community leader. For further information, it is available on the Ministry of Education website including a number of guidebooks. In terms of time frames, these are the approximate time frames for the establishment of the community with various roles being appointed over the next months and then significant time allowed for the cross-community teachers to work with the community leader to do strategic planning, develop systems and structures with an intention of starting the real work at the beginning of 2017. The cross-community teacher roles will be advertised shortly. These roles offer a significant shift to current career opportunities we need to reframe our thinking to consider how each person can now support not just the needs of the learners in their own school, but rather the needs of 6,000 plus learners across the community. This greater moral purpose sits at the heart of our community of learning. This is an exciting chance to help be part of something new and to help shape the direction of education in our community. This is a fantastic career opportunity and consequently, we want the very best practitioners, teachers and leaders. We urge you to be brave. Do you want to make a difference? The skills and passions we need are related to the three key focus areas outlined earlier. Teacher efficacy, student agency and whānau engagement. Your principal will keep you informed and keep an eye out for when roles are advertised. We look forward to your interest as we work together collaboratively to make a difference. Kia ora.